MoDOT's customers have come to expect innovative transportation solutions, and MoDOT employees continue to deliver. To come here and have these folks look at this and talk about it, it's unique. Getting us more involved in the decision making of, of how we you know, do our jobs, it makes us sort of take a little more pride in what we do. Payoff is huge. If we take an idea and it actually turns into something that works, the benefits are endless throughout the entire state. Um, it's nice to work for an organization that allows you to so-called think outside of the box. You are looking at some amazing ideas put to work at this year's Tool and Equipment Innovation Showcase in Springfield, Missouri. This year's contest includes six different categories, and there is a grand prize winner for each of those categories. The ideas were judged by technical experts in a variety of areas like cost effectiveness, ease of use, and the ability to implement the ideas statewide. It's, it's just a great opportunity. It's a great investment of time and resources because in the end it pays off for the customer. These employees were eager to show everyone just how their ideas work. The honorable mention in snow and ice response tools is the snow plow cradle for, from District 7. You don't have to hold the blades up individually. It makes it a lot safer and a lot faster and one man can do it. You don't have to pull another man off the routes when you're trying to plow snow. The statewide winner in snow and ice tools is the V-bed removal tool from District 1. What we've done is come up with this almost a no cost fix for staying on the ground and getting their V-beds in and out on and it's pulled down and it's back off the truck. The honorable mention for snow and ice response equipment is the tractor mounted spreader from District 3. We typically use the tractor for mowing and uh, laying driveways and such and, and now we can use it for snow removal also. And the statewide winner in snow and ice response equipment is the plow lift chain bracket from District 2. When it pulls it's pulling on both sides, inner and outer the back side. We have a statewide winner in drainage tools. It's the uh, CMP lifting bracket from District 2. You can back up, your center chain will come out. There's no need to be down in the trench for any trenching or shoring equipment. Drainage equipment, we have an honorable mention and it's the loader ditching bucket from District 6. So we decided that we've got this, let's retrofit it to fit our loader that we have on hand every day. That way if we have an issue that comes up, we're ready to respond. The statewide winner in drainage equipment is the uh, supervisor soaker or the culvert flusher from District 10. Open this valve back and it'll run through here up to the top fill on this tank and it just circulates the water at that time. Then you're able to move to the other side of the culvert with this tip. The winner of the Preventive Pavement Maintenance Tools is the inline asphalt filter from District 2. The filter, and you slide it in here, and you put the cap on it, and you hook it up to your hose, and then this hooks up to the uh, tanker. All right, and once you start filling up with the asphalt, it catch all, catches all the contaminants. The winner in Preventive Pavement Maintenance Equipment is the pocket hitches from District 7. What we have done is we've made this to where the application is versatile. Uh, we can use different uh, chipper boxes. We can use like our edge rut box that used to mount here on the side of the bed and underneath and the arms would always bend. You'd always have to look for them and find them. It was a hassle. This way you can raise the bed all the way up. You don't have to worry about your chipper box uh, or your edge rut box being off level. And then when you're done with that, you can take them out. What we've done, these different hitches, all of these can be taken on, or put on and taken off in less than four minutes. Whereas in the past, this would take a long time if you could find the things to do it. The award for best in show goes to, don't sit down, Pocket Hitches from District 7. <laughs> Plans for next year's showcase have already begun. We look forward to seeing what kind of new and cost-effective ideas everybody can come up with next year and improve the way we do business.